If you're looking for a faster and stress-free way of replacing your skies, then sky overlays may be your answer. Let's get into it. Hello friends, my name is Brennan from BeWillCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photography, photo editing, and all of that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now today we're going to talk about a way you can replace your skies without having to do all the complicated cutting out and selections that you typically have to do when you're making sky replacements. With a sky overlay, you just apply the photo directly onto your image and you can completely change the sky and transform your photo in seconds. Sky overlays don't necessarily work very well for an already blue sky. However, they work really well for images with an overcast sky that's just kind of like a flat gray and they work even better when the photo has an overexposed sky that's just white. Sky overlays can solve that problem super easily. Now before you get started with creating sky overlays, the one thing that you need is of course a sky to put into your image. Now you can find some online, however, the problem is with some free stock photo sites, the quality isn't necessarily that great. So to help get you started with sky overlays, I've created five free sky templates that you can download right now by signing up via the link in the description below. Those will get sent directly to your inbox and then you can start using them with this tutorial. Now after you download those five free blue sky templates, you can also download the image that we're using today so you can completely follow along with this tutorial. Again, all of that can be found down in the description below. Once you download all that stuff, let's hop into Photoshop and see how it's done. So the image we'll be working with today is this photo of a lighthouse and it has a boring overcast sky. It kind of looks a little bit dreary. So we're going to cheer it up a little bit with a nice blue sky overlay. This image is perfect for this effect because it has an overcast sky. Again, this would also work if it was just a blown out sky, but there's not much detail going on there and so it works really well for this effect. After you've picked the sky template that you want to use, bring it into Photoshop and open it up and enlarge it to fit over the sky in your image. So in this case, since the sky takes up pretty much the whole photo, that means my overlay image is about the same size. So clicking on that sky overlay, we want to blend this into the photo. So we can do that by changing the blending mode. We have two options. By clicking on normal, we can either go down to the multiply blend mode or we can go to the overlay blend mode. Both of these are viable options for this effect, but they just give you a little bit of a different look and will blend better in certain photos. For this image, I like the overlay a little bit better, so I'm going to click on that. Now from here, the sky overlay is blended into the sky. However, we need to obviously make it not appear on the rest of the image, like the building and the grass and things like that. So there are two different ways that you can do this. The first way is with the layer mask and a brush tool. So by clicking on the sky layer, we'll go and add a layer mask like so. Then we'll grab the brush tool, select a nice soft round brush, and then set our foreground color to black. Now we can just paint over any of the parts of our photo that we don't want the sky overlay to show up and it's going to mask that out on our layer mask. And this is a really fast and easy way to refine your sky overlay into your image. The problem with this is that if you have a bunch of edges in your photo like we do in this image, this is a bit of a waste of time and I feel like it takes a while to get everything just right. On the other hand, if you had an image that just had a perfectly clean horizon line, then maybe this would be a good option for you because there's not that many complicated edges to go around, so it'd be pretty fast. Now, since this option isn't the best for this image, that leads us into option number two. Now, I'll first just delete my layer mask, so we're starting fresh, and we're gonna be using the quick selection tool to help guide our sky overlay into the right position. Now, I know I said we weren't gonna be cutting out any images today, and don't worry, we will not be cutting out an image. We're just using this to help guide our overlay into place. So going to the quick selection tool, making sure the add to selection option is checked off. All we have to do is select the image layer and then paint over the sky that we want to select. Now in some cases you might accidentally select something that you didn't want to. So in that case you can hold alter option and then just paint out that area and it will refine that selection for you, snap it into place a little bit better. In this case, I'm just gonna do that around both the railings on either side of the lighthouse, and now that looks a lot better to me. With our selection created, we'll go and choose the sky overlay layer, and then add that to a layer mask like so. And what that will do is apply that selection onto the layer mask really quickly for us, and now, 
the sky is perfectly surrounding the edges of our buildings. The problem is, if I zoom in, you can see that around the railings of the lighthouse, the sky isn't really appearing because it wasn't a part of the selection. Luckily, we can quickly refine that using the brush tool. So with our layer mask selected, we'll go and choose the brush tool and then change our foreground color to white. Now rescaling our brush to a smaller size, we can just paint over those areas and make that sky visible along the railings and help refine that a little bit better. Now, if you're looking at this really hard, you might think, actually, these windows don't blend very well considering the sky and the weather route right now. So to help blend this in a little bit better, I'll just bring down the opacity of the brush to something like 40%, and then I'll just paint over the windows to add in that sky overlay so it still is visible, just not overwhelming, and it makes it look a little bit more like a sunny day in terms of the window. So with that, our sky overlay is complete and you could be happy here or you might want to do a little bit more blending and there's two great tools that you can do to help blend the sky overlay into your photo. The first option is the curves adjustment. So we'll create a new curves adjustment layer like so and then we'll add a clipping mask to make sure it only applies to our sky overlay. Now I'll bring down the shadows to add some contrast and then I'll bring up the highlights like so. Again, depending on what image you're working with, this will vary slightly. This just makes a very small difference, but I think it just helps the sky to pop a bit more in the photo. The next thing I wanna do is add a color balance adjustment, again, clipping that to my sky overlay. And we can use this to help blend the sky's colors into the photo, because depending on where your photo was taken, the skies that you use might not work very well color-wise and won't look realistic. However, using the color balance, you can make everything blend really nicely. So just working through these sliders here, I'll add a bit of yellow, a bit of green in this case, and then just a bit of red as well just to help that sky blend in with the mood of our photo. And that looks pretty good to me right there. So turning those two adjustments on and off, you can see the slight but helpful difference that these two adjustments make for us and is the perfect way to finalize your sky overlay in Photoshop. So sky overlays are an amazing way to turn a gloomy day into a beautiful sunny one, especially when you have a blue sky overlay pack like the ones you can download today for free via the link in the description below. So if you want to check those out, all you have to do is sign up for my mailing list. I'll send you them right away and then you can start working on them like we did in this tutorial today. The reason I love sky overlays over sky replacements is it's so much easier because you don't have to deal with any of the small edges that don't look very good when you cut out an image sometimes. Even with the advanced sky replacement features in the newer versions of Photoshop or in Luminar, I find that a sky overlay is just faster and easier. And if you have the option to do it and your sky allows it, I think sky overlays should be used way more often. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you learned something today, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Anyways, that's all I have for you. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.